Peace. This is a meat potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is understanding the tunnels of set. Now, many of you have heard of the tunnels of set because they're juxtaposed with the tree of Doth or the Kalipov, the Hus or the Shells. Basically, I'm going to approach the tunnels of set from a different perspective. One that should be able to assist the witch and the sorcerer. Now, on the tunnels of Set, basically, this is an exploration, an excursion, and there are dangers connected to this. You're going to run into demons, you're going to run into vampires, ghosts, beings that are going to put up resistance against you. But the number one thing that will hurt you is that many of these areas of resistance that are being put up actually are being put up from your subconscious mind your fears your traumas your prejudices your arrogance that's going to put up the primary resistance on your journey and let me use a few analogies there was a cartoon anime i, I like anime back in the day called monster rancher and the protagonist was a young boy named Ginky. And one of his first opponents, who later became his ally and also friend, was Tiger of the Wind. And I remember when they had their little, you know, when they bumped heads and they had their little bang out. And Tiger of the Wind had subdued him. And he told him, he said, you just go into battle head first. You don't think about anything. He said, look, kid, you got a good heart and you're brave but sometimes in this world that's not enough now when you're dealing with third dimensional energy actually he gave him some free game but when you're dealing with the tunnels of set basically when you master the heart one of the keys that will help propel you on your journey because it's yours is that everyone cannot have accessibility to your heart that's where a lot of people go wrong. So even in relationships, people keep looking for two types, a physical type or a spiritual type. The spiritual type is you want somebody who has that rebellious energy or you want somebody that may have a very high spiritual energy or sexual energy. So that's a spiritual type. Whereas physical, okay, I want this person to be six feet and up or I want this woman to be five, two or five, three. That's the physical type. But basically, back to Monster Rancher, briefly, when the, when the show ended, all those creatures, whether it been Moo or Mochi or Tiger of the Wind, he found out all that came from his consciousness. There was a movie back in the day, The Never Ending Story, same premise. So when you're dealing with the tunnels of set, basically... You're dealing with the real you. You know, the you that, that really doesn't show in the workplace or really not at home. You're dealing with the real you. And all other things that you encounter, basically, they're outside of you and inside of you. See, many times when you're doing your magical work, you may have dreams and you see certain creatures. These could be emanations from your mind or what they call with psychoanalysis imagination which they try and beat out of you at the school and this has been going on especially if you go back to old calipothic uh, texts such as night nice side of eden by mr kenneth grant who was a theorist there's a difference between a theorist and someone that wants to put things to the test now there's a book out a few years back um it's it's not as easy to get because of the publishing, but you can get it. It's the Visions of the Night Side by the Temple of the Ascending Flame. I will try use bookstores because it will guide you through the, sh the shells as well as give you rituals. And through these calipothic rituals, you will be able to get through the tunnels of set. And in getting through the tunnels of set, you will be welcomed by demons who are gods and goddesses and were titans before someone like Zeus 
or even Jehovah. So that's really that is that many of these so-called things that are pitted against you, you play the hand in creating that. So I want many people to think about that. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. You water, my friend. Peace.